Mauricio, you join me at episode 33 of the Le Mans Odyssey, and it doesn't get much bigger than this. It's third versus fourth with just six games to go, and we are desperately trying to hang on in there, and we have to win this game at home to Marseille if we are going to take second place back because to lose have lost their extra game. As I'll show you now, there we go, Montpellier doing us a favour. So if we win, we can go into second position on 66 points. But Paris Saint-Germain have been irresistible, getting a bit of luck along the way, as well as being dominant. So I'm afraid the championship race is over. I'm not going to be able to compete unless they absolutely wreck it. So six games to go, I should say, um, in case I was wrong. And it is so. there is so much on the line because we've had... A great run since we played uh, Bordeaux. Um, I was I stopped there. We also beat Sasho by a single goal. Uh, Kang of Kang and an own goal helped us win that one. It was a late flurry. I'll show you now. We were very lucky since they hit the post about three times. But we got those two goals. And then we beat Sasho 1-0. Again, a bit fortunate. They hit the post twice. But we were the better team. And we got our chance. But this is where it's gone wrong. Sweaty as usual, Sanatian with six at the back. Uh, kind of got, uh, you know, they dominated us, got very good uh, breaks and a penalty. And the red card came too late, but uh, they were just too defensively minded and played the perfect strategy. And then my own fault, really, I decided we had to go for the win as Ibsen got injured as well, just to bear in mind. But uh, unfortunately they got their only shot on target into the back of the net and that put us back into third position out of the reach of Pali Saint-Germain who I'll just quickly show have been in good form um, yeah so I'm afraid the title dream is over they've won a lot of games they're unbeaten since January so I, I do congratulate them on winning what is most likely to be the championship since they don't have many challenges left but for us, it doesn't get much more difficult. We still have to play to lose, so it could all go wrong at the end of the season. But this is the, for all the marbles now. If we win this, our, it could be only our second win against these Marseille guys. It'd be a massive, massive result. But at the same time, they have some injuries, like uh, particularly to Loic Remy, who is out for the rest of the season. So, um, Siebe Shivers has been quiet, but. A lot of players are waiting to be suspended for one more card. But I'm generally happy with this team. My tactic still, I, I do want to improve it next season by getting some wingers who can play in the centre as well. Just so we can have a bit of variety because some teams can just beat us so easily. So unfortunately, the men to watch out for today are fit in Andre Ayew and Thomas Ince on those flanks. So we really need to target them in particular. But Park Chu Young has not had a good season so he must uh, bully him and make sure it keeps going wrong so Shrivers is on a goal drought but we have to play him I'm afraid so now Go and Delad are better coming off the bench so we'll try and stay rigid for the start um, we'll keep Sigisai's target man we do miss San Marciano as well um, but it has been a very tough season if we lose this game it'll be three defeats in a row and everything could be over like it's really unfair that we're in this position but uh, that's just football for you I'm afraid um, we'll try and close down harder on those two on the wings uh, so very big pressure I really don't want to lose uh, I don't want to draw either because we have an opportunity to get second place back we'll just have to keep going push to the limit try and get this win that we you know our season has been worth we do deserve Champions League football but at the same time Europa League is still a major achievement but the money you get for the Champions League at least could pay us off forever even if we only come third in the group so oh, that's a terrible pass already so very nervous the all players and Andre Ayew is through already he's got two men marking the good, good work by Capone and Kemp clears so we need to calm down there. Very poor start to the game. But we're starting to settle in now. We're dominating possession. So here's our opportunity. Omrani to Bamba. Oh, unlucky. Thomas Ince, Park Chignon. 
Should be an interesting feud between Ince and Bamba, two very different types of players, but I think they're evenly matched. Here's Thomas Ince though, he's gone backwards. Kabore to Kapue, Louis, Lucas Mendes, Kapore. He's gonna shoot, it's blocked. Back to Kapue. We're closing him down, Harrison, good, good effort, Mahoto. Here's Cisse, finds a pass and a foul as well, so unlucky. Cisse couldn't hook the pass through. Come on, lads, hang on in there. I'm trying to get close forward, so there's no point hanging on the possession for much longer. So, we'll just have to wait and see. We need to get a cushion on Marseille at least because we don't want to lose to Toulouse and then be taken off our spot again. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Here's a free kick for Nkulu to take. Bamba clears. Harrison to Omrani. Here's Chevy Shivers. Omrani looks for Cisse. Cisse. Ah, uh, see, we're too slow. Mahoto! Oh, lucky for Le Mans there. We shouldn't have had that shot, if I'm perfectly honest. There's, oh my god, it's 2 0 to Valencians. Maybe the championship is still on the line. We have to win this game to stand any chance. A huge double for Valencians there, and they've injured Lucas Mora. So Sandro's injury for them as well has been pretty vital. But here's a free kick. And it's over the bar. I'm going to try counter-attacking. Just to give us a chance. Shrivers is struggling. It's fair enough that he is struggling. He's been very, very good all season long. Um, we might actually swap them to around to try and improve his fortune. Here we go. It's Bernardo. Everyone's back, so no real threat. Bamba to Mahodo. Back to Bamba. Looks for Cisse. Bad ball. Good header though. Ayu to Park Chu Young. Lucas Mendez. Tackled by Omarani, but it's gone back to Park Chu Young. Oh, that's a decent effort. That is a decent effort. So Shivers is struggling. Cisse is going to be suspended next game, I predict, because he's already on a yellow card. Uh, swap the rolls. And he'll try and get uh, Shivers to pass the feet instead, just to give us more of a chance but they're very solid in defense even though they have been on a bad run so we just have to stay calm try and get the lucky break it was nil nil half time in our last game of San Etienne of score against Lille so we need to be very careful about losing this game in case they come along that is always a threat they don't deserve to beat me in the league no question but we just have to be careful here's a king a king he loves to run and tackle but he's been stripped. Here we go again though. Shrivers needs help. Finds Omrani. Back to Shrivers. Oh, I, I wish he could have taken a jump there. Here's a chance. It's over. It's over the bar. Very boring game thus far, but we need to absorb these blows and put Marseille under pressure. And we're going to go to half time. Uh, have PSG. Oh my god, they're 4 0 down. What on earth has happened there? So we're going to try fluid counter-attacking now in the second half. Uh, so happy so far. Let's keep it going. We can win this game. It could be huge for the title race. Absolutely huge. And we're doing okay thus far. But we need to strike when the iron is hot. And Marseille are definitely not hot yet. So we'll just have to keep our defensive wits about us. Come on lads, everything is working in our favour, let's just do it. It could be the perfect weekend for us if we win this game. Oh great, oh for fuck's sake! Fuck off! How is that fair, for fuck's sake? Oh. Oh. That is completely undeserved. Right, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, of all the times, of all the times. Right, I'm going to take Shivers off. He doesn't seem to want to play. And we'll make Cissé the target man again. We'll try and get this to work. Well, that was my strategy out the bloody window. As Mahodo is tired as well, so we'll get him off, make two changes. We can turn this around. 
I, I don't like getting upset. But, you know, it is a lot on the line. I don't think these teams deserve to beat us. So, Jesus Christ. They're doing so well. They're doing so well. Give us something, this is ridiculous. What has happened? Just tell me what has happened. All that work is gone because of these boring teams just cancelling us out. Like they're better than us, but they just resort to desperate measures, getting lucky and all this stuff. Whereas we, we've been setting the league alight and there's nothing we can do to stop it. Like, just tough, like, just tough. And if we get stripped to fourth place, I don't know what I'll do. Completely out of the run of play if Senatian catches. It really is. Look at that, we're only four points behind and everything is going pear shaped. Uh, they're completely dominant. Completely dominant. Ah! Uh, I can't give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Believe in me. We haven't scored in our last game. We can't go two games in a row without not scoring. It's just not good enough. Cissé will try and cross. No, they're too solid. They're just too solid. Ah, this is ridiculous. Come on. Why do you do this to me? It's always the same. I get so close and I get robbed. Come on, we can get our break. Come on, pressure. That's it, come on. They played very badly at home when we played, and even though they probably deserved to win. But they've been totally dominant today. Here's Cissé's chance. That was not bad. That was not bad at all. to go overload um, we've, we've made our three changes so uh, we'll make Harrison an inside forward not much else we can do come on please oh thank god that is a huge goal uh, that will give us a little bit of breathing space but in terms of Champions League it's gone now I, I can't see us catching Marseille or Toulouse. We've wasted our golden opportunity. It's only two points, yeah, but you can't lose three games in a row in this level and expect to get any rewards. Just not good enough. Very poor life, and I do apologise. Um, a bit we just don't like this. desperate altogether I was really looking forward to this season and now all my dreams are shattered really just uh, same old shite like come on it's always fucking pass backs or something stupid that really is or set pieces or some crap as Valencians beat PSG 5-0 and we're missing out on that cake it's a delicious cake as well we fucking missed it. Look at these fucking wankers. Like, I am a bit of a sore... Like, I'm not a sore loser in any other game but this. Because I've no control over what the players do, apart from my instructions. And I do get very, very upset if I lose, like, these kind of games. So I do apologise. I'm sure you can relate to it sometimes. But thank God Lille got the points to give us some respite. They're six points behind, but no more defeats now. This is just out of question now. Ten points behind with five games to go. So that that um, dream is over. Uh, Sonogo and Trivers are now on goals, goals droughts. And we've hit the worst possible string of results after nearly flawless 
March. And I'm so upset. But there are five games to go. Fourth place is exactly where we need to finish. So let's not be totally down the dumps. We get a 15 day break to get fitness back up. And if we can avoid losing to these Renan bastards again, I'll be you know, confident that we can get six points out of these two. And then Bob is my uncle. I have to lose him the arm, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I may be live com this game if I can recover my situation and see if we can uh, catch up to them. So we need to get nine points in these remaining three games before that one to at least give us a bit of a fighting chance. So yeah, I, I just I do get upset easily in football manager, even as well as overjoyed. So um, just gotta hang on. Hang on in there, see what happens, and uh, just give it our best shot. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please join me in the next episode. You've been absolutely wonderful subscribers as usual. So uh, tune in and goodbye for now.